What's up guys? So in this Houdini tutorial, we will create this uh, hexagonal energy shield effect. And the good news is, we're only going to use four nodes. Yes, you heard it right. One, two, three, four nodes. Who says Houdini's bad for motion graphics is actually even better? Okay, so let's dive straight in. Fresh scene. First, I'm going to right click and type geo or geometry. I'm going to double click to go inside. Let me just activate my work plane. And let's choose a geometry. So hit tab. Everything's tab, by the way. T O R to find the torus. Click. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is convert the mesh into hexagonal uh, instead of polygons. Uh, make sure each polygon is basically a hexagon or a pentagon shape. So we're going to use um, a node called divide. So tab, divide, and connect it to the torus. Click here to activate the divide. And we're going to choose compute dual. As you can see, we now have our hexagons. Okay. The next node, we basically want to create like a noise map. So we're going to use attribute noise because it serves the dual purpose of creating an attribute and applying noise to it. I mean, you could go create attribute, then apply uh, attribute noise, but you don't have to. You can get rid of that. And let's connect the divide to the attribute noise and activate it. As you can see, we already have uh, CD, which is color in Houdini, um, created, and it's a vector value. And as you can see, there is a faint uh, color, and we can adjust the scale. Now, if we play, there's no animation on it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to animation here and animate the noise. If we play now, we have... The noise is basically animating. Now, I want to make the noise a bit more uh, intense. Let's see what alligator looks like. Okay, alligator. But you can't animate alligator. We have Perlin, looks a bit weak. And we have Warly Cellular F2, F1. Okay, it looks promising, but let's just slow down the duration. I'm just going to make the pulse duration 7. Okay. So that's basically some animated noise. What I'm going to do next is, instead of making this a point class, I'm going to make it a primitive uh, value. If we visit the geometry spreadsheet, here's the points and here's the primitives. We can see the color value is applied to the primitives, which is basically the polygon faces in Houdini. And points are the points. And now the final stage is to create a poly extrude. And I'm just going to connect it to the poly extrude. And I'm just going to I'm just going to play with the inset value. Nothing happens because we need to choose individual elements. Let me just get rid of the grid now. And if we play with inset, again, nothing happens. So what we need to do is we, we're going to go to local control. And where it says inset scale, we can basically scale each face using this attribute. We're going to change it to CD, which we defined, uh, which is now animated. And as you can see, there is something happening. Now, the last stage left is to just get rid of the side faces, output side, uncheck it. And now we have basically just the kind of front faces. And if we play the animation, we have this colorful um, animated hexagon effect. Which is pretty cool. So that was it. Um, and if you wanna, if you wanna take this tutorial further, uh, what you can basically do is you can uh, create a material. If we just click here, go to Material Palette, and I used aluminium. I can then come back to my geometry, and here go to Render and apply that aluminium material. There it is. And now we have a. Uh, kind of more reflective material. And then you can go to the material itself here. 
and you can literally just click on it and change its base color to a more futuristic uh, looking value. And you can also uh, add some transparency because a force field probably would be transparent. Something like that. And I'll let you play with it 